demonstration of abalone feed being made, extruded abalone feed. Now abalone are very slow feeders and bank bottom dwellers. They require a very dense feed that can last uh, potentially up to several days for water. So, uh, give you some idea of how it's at the end of the extruder. It's not too sticky, reasonably free flowing. And the uh, trick with this is obviously to fully cook the pellets in order to get uh, good gelatinisation and water stability but also to form them without expansion. And this particular process is reasonably forgiving in that respect in that it will handle a uh, fairly diverse range of formulations and still produce a, uh, quite a similar density. Um, obviously it's dependent on fat, abalone feeds uh, in general tend to be quite low in fat and uh, which obviously does make it harder in terms of making them dense. Other things like colloids, the marine colloids and gums and fibre also impact uh, both the density of the feed and the water stability. But in general terms, this process will handle uh, pretty much any formulation. Uh, here we'll see some pellets coming off the end of the dryer. here, get an idea. Generally we produce pellets that are around the 700 grams per litre as standard, which is uh, quite heavy enough to provide a good sink rate. And see these pellets here which have been in the water for nine hours. That's unagitated, obviously they'd be exposed to more agitation on an on farm situation, but you can see it's still very stable there. Just to give you a better idea, I'll bend this one for you. I can get my fingers around it. There we go. Quite slippery. There you go. Bend it in two and unbend it. No cracks. It's just like a little piece of rubber. 